In October of 2014, Apple released a refresh to the Mac Mini line of computers, updating the small machines to Intel's Haswell CPUs, updated graphics, and a few other things. This is the base model 2014 Mac Mini. It features a 1.4 GHz Intel Core i5 4260U, 4 GB of DDR3 non-upgradable memory clocked at 1300 MHz, and for graphics, it's Intel's integrated HD 5000 to power whatever you want to render, or lack thereof. Unlike Apple's newer products, the ports on the back of the unit actually make sense. From left to right, there's power, gigabit ethernet, HDMI, two Thunderbolt 2 ports which also double as a mini DisplayPort connection, four USB 3.0 Type-A ports, an SDXC card slot, and a microphone and headphone jack. When it comes to operating systems, you've got three choices. Mac OS starting at 10.10 and going to 12.x, Microsoft Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. 11 possibly if you want to hack it, but 11 is just kind of bad. And then you've got Linux. Well, once you've chosen an operating system, what's it actually like to use one of these? Well, unlike other Macintosh models, a monitor, keyboard, and mouse aren't built in, so these will have to be provided by the end user. I'm using a 24-inch 1080p monitor with an Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad. I did use a Magic Mouse, but this ended up giving me hand cramps, so trackpad it is. I do prefer to use a trackpad with a Mac OS, because the gestures are just... they're just good. When I first got this machine, it had the slowest mechanical hard drive, meaning it took the better part of 20 minutes to open Microsoft Word to start writing this script seven months ago. To make this Mac Mini even borderline usable, it is a must to throw a cheap SSD. I ended up throwing in a 240GB Kingston SSD, though if you want more space, 500GB or 1TB is an option. But I really only use this thing for office work, so the extra space isn't needed. 1080p YouTube playback is smooth, and there wasn't really any issue. Microsoft Office apps run pretty well, but those are also extremely easy to run. Anything above internet browsing YouTube videos and Office apps is kind of hard for this machine to do. Gaming is essentially a no-go because, well, Mac OS, and the lackluster integrated graphics. But Macintosh really isn't a gaming platform despite what Apple wants you to think. The Mac OS is fantastic for multitasking, and unlike Windows, it doesn't shit its pants when I right-click. Seriously, Microsoft, why does this happen? This computer is also 8 years old, so let's talk about repairability and longevity. It's an Apple product for one, so there really isn't a lot off the bat. The CPU and RAM are soldered, so I hope you like that i5 and 4 gigs of RAM. But board swaps of this machine are pretty straightforward. This computer does also come apart fairly easily, but you will need a special security Torx bit to remove the antenna plate and a special board removal tool, but that can be cheated with a pair of chopsticks. The hard drive is pretty easy to replace, and there's even been some models that have a small PCIe SSD that use the existing mechanical hard drive as a hybrid drive. Apple used to call them fusion drives. This model didn't have a fusion drive, so the mount for the PCIe SSD isn't there, but the header is still on the motherboard, and it is possible to order a mount online and slot in a PCIe SSD. Though, do this at your own risk because macOS is iffy with PCIe SSDs when it comes to certain brands, and there's some fantastic websites out there that will let you know which ones work. Let's draw this video to a close. The Mac Mini is a good value. It's a small little desktop computer that you can add your own peripherals to. The 2014 Mac Mini can regularly be found for under $300 on eBay. And those are the higher end Intel Core i7 models. The i5 models can be found for as little as $80. I got this one for $67.65 off of an eBay auction, so there's some serious possibility to find these for stupidly low prices. If you're wanting a low-cost computer for just general web browsing and office work, the 2014 Mac Mini is still a really good little computer. Of course, you'll have to do a little work to throw in an SSD, but after that, this is a fantastic machine. I write all of my scripts on it, and it's just a joy to use. That's all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Bye!